All right, that's it. This is this is the time. It is the top eight of CTM Mega Masters. Uh, Sidnev, of course, looking to get their first ever CTM Masters event championship. Trying to do it here in Mega Masters Pixelandy multi-time winner. I mean, this is like a finals worthy matchup right here. All the matches are finals worthy, so I can't keep I mean, I guess I'll keep saying it because it's true. CTM is proud to be sponsored by Into the AM. Many of the players you see here today are wearing Into the AM shirts. And let me tell you, these are comfortable graphic t-shirts. Into the AM sold me on their quality design and build. These will definitely last you a while. Support CTM by using our link into the am.com slash CTM or our exclusive discount code CTM at checkout right now. Look at that. One of my favorite designs. Love it. One of my one of my favorites. Wear this one all the time. Tons of compliments. That one right there with the melting uh, 80s style little kind of mini boombox. So I am a huge fan. Um, I am sold. And honestly, even if they weren't a sponsor, I'd recommend it. But use our link anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. So there you go. Shirt time. Tetris time. But let's go ahead and get this underway. Counting it down. Sidnev. Pixel Andy, three, two, one, Tetris. Little Steffi says, so excited I put down my crochet. <laughs> oh, that's great. Three, two, one, countdown bits from K9 watching Tetris. Thank you very, very much. The terabytes with the, uh, the terabyte with 30, 20, 10 countdown bits. Then go Andy. So there you go, Andy with fans. Okay, that was totally OBS. That was not Vandy. That was OBS. <laughs> that was. Don't worry about editing it back in. You're gonna keep that. Everything's fine. Twenty six thousand here for Sid and have thirty thousand for fixing. It. Yeah, it's me. I'm the winner. I just won. I declared myself the winner. There it was. <laughs> All right, Tetris down the long bar hole in column ten for Pixelani, and there's one Sid Nev. As we get underway in our opening match of our weekend, we will have uh, eight matches total. And how long does the match take? An hour? 45 minutes? I don't know. Yesterday, they had eight matches and got through in a very crisp six and a half hours. Something like that. I don't know. I don't think we'll get that today. I think these are, you know, the players we are left with. I'm, I'm imagining we're going to go you know deciders every single time andy setting up the intentional t-spin here not getting the t and we'll just have to do something else and get the tetris 109 andy 143 sidnev chris forrest with the raid party of four from chris forrest keeping that uh Polish Tetris community, active and vibrant. I believe there are approximately 4,000 people in the Polish Tetris community. <laughs> Bigger than the US, no, I don't know. But uh, Chris definitely very active and a big champion and booster of the classic Tetris scene. So thank you so much, Chris. 185 Sidnev, 181 Pixel Andy. And long bar down Tetris, Andy, 205. Sitting at 189. Kita Kingsman loves it. All right, that. J to the left, Sidnev probably does not love that. So we'll try to work around that. Throwing that long bar to the left, I think that was pretty smart. I mean, what do I, what do I know? Very little. Sidnev, try to burn this down, 215. Andy, 253. There's going to be seven matches. It's going to be a long stream, but this is what we want, folks. We want a lot of Tetris. This is what it's all been building up to all month long. This weekend, Olive Lucas with the subscription. Q 
keep it coming. This is all going into uh, this is all going into the Lone Star budget here. I don't know if it all will, but much of it will. A lot of it goes super streamers and other folks. 246 Sidnev, 346 Pixel Andy. Queen says, I have a dinner date, so I have to miss the later matches. Sag, yeah. I mean, what are you doing? A dinner date. This is your dinner date. Hey, listen, this is me. I love NES Tetris. I'm proud of it. And if you can't accept me for who I am, then this is never going to work, right? So just come out right now. Let them know that this is who you are. 394 for Andy, 319 for Sidnev. <laughs> Ivan says, I have no friends so I can watch Tetris all day. Feel strong, Bear. Well, you just got to get some Tetris friends. All right. Long bar down for Sidna for the Tetris, 389, 464, Andy. So far, fairly drama-free, but kind of a low pace on Sidnev's side. About three and a half Tetrises behind Andy. And Andy, you know, kind of moderate pace here. 13 lines to go until the 19 transition. So, you know, four Tetris is possible. And uh, not anymore. So two more Tetris is available for Andy before the level 19 transition, where the speed will increase by 50%. 5.0, not 1550. That would be weird if it were 15% increase. Like, where did you get that from? All right, we're getting droughted. Triple into a Tetris for Andy. And we are getting a little bit droughted. Sidnev going through that drought. A couple of long bars in a row. Great cleanup. Very fortuitous for Sidnev. And into 19, currently 533. Good adjustment there to make room for the square in the window. Andy up by about 90,000. Well, not anymore. Sidnev going to Tetris. 562. Andy 626. Another one. Sidnev. All right. Andy was in a little bit of a kind of a mini dig here. It is set up for the Tetris, but awkward looking stack. The gap right in the middle. So there we go. Long bar down for Andy 655. That allowed Sidnev to catch up a little bit. So back by 42,000 points. Gets a Tetris. So. There you go, closing the gap. Sidnev. G says, Vandy is the commentator who most likes to say that 19 is 50% faster than 18. Listen, not everybody here knows every single little thing, little thing about Tetris. We're gonna have a lot of new viewers. So they might wanna know that a speed increase is coming and just how much that speed does increase by. So why not? And you know what? You gotta say something. I guess I can give you, you know, I don't know, what, what can I tell you? Tetris. <laughs> These are two of the best players in the world. They're Tetrising. They're playing like gods. 759 Sidnev. Andy set up in column three. Long bar in for a Tetris and setting up for another one. There is one for Sidnev, but has some cleanup to do on top of it. And Andy in column three again. And we'll see. Seems to be riding that column three. It's set up again. Oh, great adjustment of that T. So there's only one line to burn after the Tetris. So there you go. Thinking ahead. And we are neck and neck. Andy 800, Sidnev 803, separated by a couple of lines. All right, Sidnev taking a couple of burns here. Andy back into the lead. But, oh, a diet of S's here for Andy. Barely gets that long bar. Just scrapes it off the top of that tower. Gets it into the long bar hole for a Tetris. And another one, 932. Andy, 908. The level 28 speed increase is coming. You know, traditionally called the kill screen. Basically unsurvivable for 
a couple generations of players, uh, but not anymore. Players have uh, defeated the kill screen, and that caused us to have to implement another speed increase at level 39. So players continuing to innovate, innovate and find ways to destroy Tetris. Max out here for Andy. Got the A44 into 29. Sidnev column six, Tetris A27. So separated by about a Tetris. There's one column nine for Sidnev. A63 Sidnev, A61 Andy. It is neck and neck. They have a hundred lines uh, until the next speed increase, which is basically unsurvivable. Players, I mean, they are playing right now at a speed that was unheard of, thought impossible. And now they are playing. A78 Pixel Andy, B17 Sidnev. And Sidnev stacking for Tetris is here. There's a Tetris. B59 Sidnev. Pixel Andy trying to bring this stack down, trying to bring the right side. Open that up a little bit. Okay, not quite going to be able to. So just taking some more burns. Sidnev column 9 Tetris. C04 ahead by 75,000 points or so. Vandy math really quick. Maybe not the best math, but do my best. Uh, 30 Level 33 for both players. B78, Andy. C18. The B stands for 1.1 million. Sidnev's board looking a little sketchy here. Trying to bring this down. Andy with a good looking board. Taking some flat burns. And is set up for a Tetris. And taking some more burns here. Getting a little dry. Gets a long bar over. Just over for the Tetris. C79 for Andy. C39, Sidnev stacking those squares in the middle of the stack here, getting up high. Andy able to put them over to the left. So Andy ahead by 50,000 points. Now at level 38, a Tetris is worth 48,000 points. So that gives you the range of about where we are. You know, the Tetris value increases by 1,200 every level. D18 for Andy. That's a 1.3. D20 for Sidnev. That is a 1.3. D66. Sidnev ahead by about one Tetris. There's a Tetris for Andy. They are within 2,000 points in one line of each other. Sidnev has a Tetris set up. Dirty column two and gets it. Log bar over to the left. Oh, always so scary. Another one over to the left. Trying to bring this down. D86 Andy. Back by 40,000 points. That is one Tetris behind. Has that Tetris set up in column 10. Gets the log bar down. E35. Last moment Tetris. Pixel Andy is going to clinch it with that last second Tetris. The log bar bails out Andy and gives him the victory in holy moly on level 39 Tetris. Level 39 Tetris, Andy takes game one. Are you serious? Oh, oh my word. With a post 39 Tetris, it was set up for. It was set up for. And the, the game just kept raining garbage down and was there and finally able to maneuver, keep the lane open for the long bar. The long bar came and last second, can you believe it? Oh my word, game one, Mega Masters. All right, both players are ready. Let's go game two, three, two, one, Tetris. Bitraver asks, is this the finals? This is the top eight. This is match one of the top eight. And I had a thing that said like round three or top eight or whatever, but uh, <laughs> I saved over it. So now it just says the dates, but I do have one that will say semifinals, so. We're in the top eight. Sidnev with uh, their characteristic one push down points. I mean, you could you couldn't get a closer match. Double 39 finish. Separated by what? 2,000 points. And right at the very end, a post 39 Tetris after a drought. I mean, that was that was pretty sick. And Sidnev in a little bit of a situation here. Pieces flailing left and right. Andy low on the board. And oh no, Sidnev gonna top out here at 34,000. An early top out, just the one Tetris. And Andy is good and will take game number two. 
Andy can win this one to move on. Sidnev needs to win this one to stay in the tournament. Here we go. Three, two, one. Tetris. Terabyte with the 30, 20, 10 countdown bits two times in a row. Thank you, Terabyte. All right, Sidnev again with the one push down point. And there is the Tetris. All right, much nicer looking stack here. Tetris right off the bat for Sidnev. Good adjustment there with the S to make room for the incoming J piece. You know, not a standard placement you would make, but when you see that piece coming in the window, the next box window, which you can't see here, we just have the piece up in the top right of the play field. But, you know, you make a little adjustment. Say, okay, I can do something non-standard because I see the piece coming in immediately to resolve it, and you'll leave yourself with a better leave than you might otherwise uh, have had. So there you go, Vandy explaining Tetris. Pixelandy setup for the vertical eye tuck setup gets the eye and then the Tetris. Uh, 116 for Pixelandy, 114 Sidnev, Tetris. Number one Mo with the tier one sub, 16 months. Thank you so much, number one Mo. You are my number one Mo. Oh, it may be smooth motion is, I don't know. Who's who's the number one? Uh, I guess you claimed it, you get it. All right, 187 Pixel Andy, 210 for Sidnev. There's a long bar down for each. Sidnev up by 45,000 points. That's almost exactly two Tetrises. Tetris is here, level 18, worth 22,800. What a, what a curious number. Tetris down for Sidnev, 280,000 points, 235 for Pixelandy. All right, Sidnev setting up kind of an intentional overhang there. We're getting a little discombobulated, but still with the clean board. And good long bar there to clean this up. And long bar again for the Tetris. No harm, no foul. 327, Sidnev, 286, Pixelandy, just like my first computer at 286. I remember I had like Word Perfect on it, Print Shop. I had a dot matrix printer. <laughs> Colin with the raid party of 16. Thank you. I'm going to have to push a few tables together to accommodate a party of 16, but I think we can do it. All right, Andy's just going to take that triple down the right side. Didn't seem satisfied with that. You could see the shake of the head. Andy's setting up that long bar, column nine. And I'm going to build on top of that. Maybe a little droughted since that long bar. Gonna have to take a triple down here. No players often try to avoid taking triples if they can. There's a Tetris for Sidnev for 90 through 99 lines. Tetris for Pixel Andy, 403. So Andy back by 110,000 points. Well, actually, okay, now they're tied in line. So back by about 90,000 points. Five thirty six Sidnev, four twenty six for Pixelandy. There's a Tetris Andy, four fifty, and another one, four seventy three. Sidnev waiting out those long bars. 
There's one. Let's see if we can get build, built back up before the next one comes. Nope. There we go. Sitting have finally built back up for one. Andy gets another Tetris 496. So Andy keeping pace with Sidnev. Trying to cut into that lead, but level 19 approaches. And there is a Tetris. Sidnev with the 630 transition. That is a very large transition score or pace. Not the 630 transition, but you know, just before transition. And there we go. So we'll have a little bit of cleanup to do. Sidnev here won't be. Okay, we'll uncover. And there's a long bar down for the 659 here on 19. 590 pixel Andy. Tetris Andy, 618, 685 Sidnev. And another Tetris Sidnev, 710 here on level 20. And another one. So Sidnev, uh, they're really just both. I mean, 110,000 points. You know, 90 to 110 has been the difference for a while here. So keeping pace with one another ever since, uh, you know, or, well, really for a long time. Long bar down, Sidnev 763. There's one for Andy. There's another one. I mean, they're just piling Tetrises in. Super efficient, super clean, great Tetris being played right now. Oh, Corian thing for Pixel Andy. Don't make me explain it. <laughs> it's just something that Corian did. It's a, a hole that you would think a square would go into, but if you see an L and then a J, you can make a different kind of placement than you otherwise might. And it's something that, I don't know, we noticed Corian doing more often than other people. So there you go, Corian thing. 759 picks Selene Corian was a, uh, <laughs> where, well, the player who won the most ever classic Tetris monthly masters events, uh, but has not played in a while. A very influential player. And, uh, we miss Corian. I, I would love to see Corian, you know, somehow in some capacity. So we got to try to make that happen. Corian, huge fan favorite. 950 Sidnev, 822 pixel Andy. And Sidnev, yeah, about 125,000 points ahead. So the score difference hasn't really changed all that much. No, no big slowdowns for these players, you know, in the last hundred lines or so. All right, Andy, left and right, both could use long bars now, just the left. And getting a little bit droughted, Andy. Gonna have to take some burns. Long bar down, that will not burn anything. So we're just gonna take this stack and burn it down. Sidnev with the 1.1, seven lines to go. Now five lines to go until the level 29 transition. Andy just trying to take a good looking stack into 29. And we'll do so and looking for that bar. We'll have to end up making a gap here. Long bar down for the Tetris. A little bit of cleanup to do here. We'll have to do most of it. 29. Sidnev into 29 at B44. Andy back by 140,000 points. And here we go. Off to the races again. Sidnev, uh, a lot of garbage at the bottom of the board. We'll just have to try to bring some order to it. Andy, A62. Uh, I believe I missed a Tetris on the right side. I think I saw the flash. And Andy set up for the Tetris. Gets it. B10 back by 72,000 points. And Sidnev trying to set up for the Tetris will get set up for it in column four. Long bar down Tetris, C23. There's a dirty Tetris for Andy. I think maybe a little bit of a misdrop or something like that for Sidnev. Kind of missed it. Hard to look at both boards, folks. Uh, but there we go. Andy just taking the triple, taking it, you know, safe burn here. Sidnev's board starting to climb the screen a little bit. We'll have to, have to bring this down. Andy's board is starting to climb a little bit as well. Sidnev opened, has to cover. Andy back by 70,000 points. That is uh, basically, what, a Tetris and a half or so? 
Andy trying to work up a Tetris, gets a Tetris here. C38 back by 32,000 points or so. 37,000 points. That's, you know, a little under a Tetris. There's another one. Pixel Andy, 85,000 points. Miss drop with the SPs for Andy. This is going to slow Andy down. And Sidnev with a basically clean low stack. Andy trying to figure out kind of only 30 lines to go until the level uh, 39 kill screen and they are separated by 7,000 points andy's board starting to climb and get very complicated not sure if survivable and no it is not survivable for andy and another deep run into what is now just affectionately called the kill screen sid nev will take game number three and, and stay alive in this tournament ggs Manter7, thanks for the resub. 15 months. And Sidnev uh, just saying, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get to, let's see if we can get to, no, kid, just two lines away from 39. Doesn't matter. Game already in hands. And, you know, just kind of playing off some of that extra energy there. So there you go. Sidnev, the journey starts now. All right, we got two players who are ready to play game four, and I am ready. I know everybody else is ready. Andy looking to clinches right now. Sidnef trying to stave off elimination. Here we go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Okay, uh, I think we might. I'm not exactly sure what's happening. All right, we're a little bit delayed here, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Almost, almost the pitch clock violation here. We don't actually have an official pitch clock, but it's coming, folks. <laughs> I've been convinced that we need a pitch clock. All right, one push down point, of course, for Sidnev on top of a Tetris and some other stuff. There is another Tetris, 47,000. For Sidnev, 69,000 for Andy. There's a Tetris 91. All right, Andy taking that skin. I'm going to use that long bar to fix the stack instead of going for the Tetris. You will see players do that. Very contentious at one time. But you will see most players do this. Figuring, yes, if you can get use one long bar and get a good stack, then you should be able to keep a stack going and clean in perpetuity. But if you use that Tetris, you might... I mean, if you use that long bar for the Tetris, you might... Uh, yeah, you'll get the Tetris and bring the stack down, but... Who knows when you'll get another long bar and maybe you missed an opportunity to just have a good solid position. So it's a little bit of a conservative move, but uh, why not? Who am I to argue? I am no one. 144, uh, 144 Sidnev, 174 Pixel Andy, 30,000 point lead, but a Tetris and a third difference. Sidnev taking the skims and getting the Tetris. All right, Tetris down for Pixel Andy 244. Again, Pixel Andy, uh, multi time CTM Masters event winner, the biggest monthly event in all of Classic Tetris. And of course, runner up in the Classic Tetris World Championship, the other leading brand of Tetris tournaments. <laughs> runner up in 2020, no small feat. All right, Andy trying to figure something else out here. Has some down stacking too. Is probably going to surrender this lead to Sidnev once the next bar comes in. I know Sidnev going to have to cover. And having to keep that well covered. So, no, maybe Andy able to hold on to this lead. Gets the Tetris, 285. Andy, Sidnev finally gets the bar down, 276.
Yeah, we are streaming in the retro category on Twitch right now, normally in the Tetris category, of course, as makes sense. But, you know, it is also a retro game. And look, at this point, Pumpy Heart, you know, like knows. Like, well, I mean, does anyone, is anyone watching the Tetris category that does not know Classic Tetris Monthly? Probably not. But there could be some, you know, retroers. And I think we have had, you know, some new folks uh, watching, asking questions. So great. It worked. Love it. All right, Andy gonna uncover, make room for that LP 401 here for Andy. 371 for Sidnev. And long bar for Sidnev. There is one for Pixel Andy. Uh, a lot of Tetris a lot in the news, of course, with the, the feature film on Apple TV Plus. With that, what's that what's that uh, guy's name? Taryn Edgerton? who apparently is from something. I don't know. I don't watch enough TV. And he's setting up the intentional eye tuck setup, the vertical eye tuck setup. So it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. I was uh, I was actually at one of the, not the premiere premiere, but like the kind of premiere for plebes <laughs> uh, in Austin, Texas, the second night, basically. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was an enjoyable film, so. Yens with the Vitz bits. I love it. <laughs> 10 bits. Colin with the 10 Vitz bits. Terabyte with the 30 2010 countdown bits. And Colin also at 25 bits as well. So thanks for letting me catch up on the, the bit contributions. There's a lot going on. It's hard to keep up with bits and subs and contributions to the prize pool, which you can do, by the way, ctm.gg slash matcherino or using the Macherino command in chat. Although well, we should probably make it prize because it's like more intuitive, but we could do both. I don't know, maybe we can add it as prize command. Maybe that already exists. I don't know. Sometimes I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> most, in fact, most of the time. 619 for Pixel Andy, 554 Sidnev. Sidnev getting set up. Andy uncovering Tetris, 646. Andy ahead by about 91,000 points. Yeah, I mean, prize makes a lot of sense too, right? People don't know what a Macherino is, but they do know what a prize is, so. I don't know, I've been thinking that for months and I've just never said it out loud. Oh, look at that adjustment for Sidnev. Rewind it here on YouTube to go see that adjustment for the T-piece. I love that stuff. And Sidnev, you will see, doing a lot of big brain adjustments and stuff that I don't see until, you know, it's, uh, you know, like five pieces ahead of, you know, ahead, thinking ahead. And it's like, oh, that adjustment. There's another one. Making room for that long bar with that L piece. 692 Sidnev, 771 Pixel Andy. Yeah, at some point we we'll, would love to get in some sort of instant replay or something. I mean, obviously OPS can do it, but it's an issue of like, you know, one, can I do it alone? Two, is it too distracting? I mean, because the game is so fast paced and you can say, oh, instant replay, but you gotta be looking at what you're looking at now, right? You don't wanna miss anything. You can be instant replaying something amazing and miss another amazing thing. So I don't know, toyed with it, thought about it. Still not quite sure how I feel about it, but it would be fun like after the match to go and show some of the events, but we need a big production team, right? And we're very, very small. All right, 839 Sidnev stacking up pretty high, taking the skim with the, this double here. I'm gonna cover the well. Sidnev closing it to under 40,000 point lead for Andy. And here's the other thing. Sidnev has like 10, seven to 10 lines in hand. So that will be a factor as we get closer to level 39. There is, you know, if you're ahead or behind in the piece sequence, and you're, you know, like if you're ahead in the piece sequence, but have a higher score, you might not actually be ahead. 895 for Andy and Zednev now actually ahead in score. And there's another Tetris, Zednev 987. There's a Tetris for Andy 938. Seven line difference. And Zednev, you know, in lines, basically Andy playing into the future. A little bit of a delayed start early. And Andy into 29 at 977. So remember that if you want to get their paces here. And Andy. Taking the skims here, just taking that stack down. A couple of triples, one line to go 
for Sid Nevins at 29. We'll transition at A67, a million 67,000. Andy set up for the Tetris, gets it down, A38. Sid Nevins at B06. Don't worry, if you don't understand the A and B, the players do. So there you go. Uh, but 100,000 point lead for Sidnev right now with a kind of a dirty stack here. Try to clean this down. Andy, A86. Did I miss a Tetris? Probably. But you can't take your eyes off anything or you would definitely miss something. Oh, no. Oh, no. That long bar hung. And then Andy was not able to get that L over to the right. It hung on the long bar. Andy tops out and Sidnev is good. Sidnev, you can go ahead and top out. You have wrapped up game number four. GG's. And we signify that by putting a dot near their name. And there it is. We fill in that little circle with a little some white pixels. And that's how you know. And of course, the drink that we all uh, enjoy when it is decider time is decider, right? There it is. D cider right there. It's cider with a big D on it. So let us go ahead, get this underway. The winner of this game moves on into the tournament, into the semifinals. Let's go three to one Tetris. And Terabyte with the big three to one bits, 321 bits. Thank you so much, Terabyte. That's a lot of bytes. The one pushdown point for Sidnev. Like a little calling card here. M. Ferk has all the different variants of the D Cider. <laughs> Uh, Kiwi Deluxe says is today also the final. Yes, we are playing our top eight in its entirety today, the very last day of the month. Or if you're in, you know, different part of the country, maybe it's, or the country, the world, maybe it's May already, but you should probably be sleeping if that's the case. 115 Sidnev, 155 Andy. Andy trying to navigate around a little bit of an awkward situation. And lots of just pieces that do not go with each other. And uh, there we go. Holding out for the hero. There is the hero bar and the long bar. The bar everyone loves. I was watching the recent uh, three days ago little interview Q&A with... Um, Alexi Pasitnov and Hank Rogers, of course, the creators or, you know, the business, the creator and business folk behind Tetris way back in the 80s. And they were saying that the long bar, like, what's the name for the pieces? And they were like, oh, we give them like names according to a letter, you know, L-J-O-T, blah, blah, blah. And they go, the long bar is sometimes, some people call it the angel. Is that true? Has anyone ever called it the angel? I think that was Alexi just being whimsical, but he said that some people call it the angel. <laughs> uh, so there you go. 197 for Sidnev. Tetris for Pixel Andy, 159. Pixel Andy getting set up with that long bar. Column nine, spinning a T to make room for a square. All the stuff you love. Sidnev up by, uh, oh, I don't know, about 37,000, if my math is correct. And now 60,000. Tetris for Sidnev, 289, 229 for Pixelandy. Oh, I missed a contribution. All right, well, I will try to keep up here. A lot of stuff going on. And now I have to sort by recent. Oh my God. Can you imagine I have to like click a drop down box and sort? Ugh. Hat full of hollow. Thank you so much. $15 contribution. Really appreciate it. Yes. Good reminder. Price pool still open. This is, you know, this is it. If you want to contribute. Sidnev getting into a little bit of a situation. Split double there to bring this down. Andy 321 has taken the lead. There's a nice triple for Sidnev, 307. And just trying to bring this down. That square will open up the 
Tetris well in column 10. And there's a long bar down for the Tetris, 331. Little skim and another one back into the lead for Sidnev. But here's the thing, Andy now back by, you know, seven or 10 lines at a time. And Andy now with the score lead and behind in lines a little bit. And there you go. This is Tetris. Long bar down. Sidnev, 379. All I can tell you, it's really close. They're close in lines. They're close in score. Now we have two of the world's best players on the screen right now. You will not see a matchup that is just much better than these two players. Anywhere in the world at any time. Four forty pixel Andy, four fifty for Sidnev. Truly world championship vibes. And you look at the talent here that has survived to uh the top eight. I mean, there are some notable folks who are missing, but that is not because they didn't play. I mean, they are out. Fractal. There's a dirty Tetris Sidnev. I mean, Fractal. Of course, is the defending, no longer defending champion of this event last year and runner up in CTWC 2022 out of the tournament. Eric, right? Defending world champ, not you know, out of the tournament. So, this is top flight talent. Eric was never in the tournament. Oh my God. I'm totally, I'm making up facts. Eric was not in the tournament. Oh, whoops. Eric was not beaten for the record. Edit that out, Dan. <laughs> Make me look good. <laughs> Eric was not in the tournament. I forgot. My apologies. <laughs> I'm spreading misinformation. This YouTube video is going to get a community note at the bottom of misinformation. My word. Cancellation in progress. Spreading disinformation. 555 Pixel Andy 609 Sidnev. Ah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Eric and Tristop were not. We're not. That's right. We're not in. That's the other notable one, Tristop. I think. Notable to me anyway. Maybe there's other folks who didn't compete that are notable to you. Yeah, my apologies. All right, Tetris down for picks. Landy 636, 644 for Sidnev. Oh, Eric is here in chat, though. Oh, yeah, Cheese, right. Cheese did not compete as well. Cheese kind of in and out, you know, the Tetris scene. Or Tetris competition, anyway. Or at least at CTM. Maybe he's playing in other events, but... You know, a lot of these folks, they got other stuff going on in life, and I'm all for it. You know, we don't need people playing every single month. Take some time off. Seven fourteen pixel Andy, seven ninety nine Sidnev Andy back by ten lines, so it is fairly close. But Andy, yeah, it's a little bit awkward here. Not Andy, but the stack. And there we go. Non awkward anymore. Beautiful setup for the Tetris. Long bar down for the Tetris. J to fill out the left. And we are rocking and rolling again. Andy, 786, 894. Sidnev, though, 110,000 points ahead. Gets another one, 926. She's, of course, you know, the person who kind of unlocked. The great leap forward that was made in this game with the uh, development of the rolling technique. The, uh, the successor to hyper tapping as the goaded technique here for winning at NES Tetris. Sidnev with the max out, A43, four lines to go until level 28. This is all going to get concluded very soon a81 sidnev on 29 960 
for Pixel Andy. Taking that. No, oh, no, not going to skim with the T. Actually setting up for another Tetris. There's a long bar down. Andy looking for another one. Sidnev just trying to get some points here. Going to clear out the board with that left side triple. Sidnev at the basically at a B07, so 1.107. And this is it. It's all going to come down to this. Andy is back in score by about 70,000 points. Sidnev setting up for Tetrises. And going to have to take this stack down. Long bar over for the Tetris. Andy set up for one. There's a Tetris. A86. Sidnev gets another one over for the Tetris. B99. Long bar for Andy. Didn't quite land uh, exactly as he wanted it. So going to have to work around that. And T over. C43. Sidnev trying to get set up for one, but not able to do that. And so we'll just take it down. Reorient the well. Andy looks like, oh no, that board is in mega trouble. Andy is going to top out at B10. And Sidnev has completed the reverse sweep after a banger of a game in game one. A very disappointing and quick top out for Sidnev in game two. Andy was up two games to none. Sidnev comes back and takes three games in a row against Pixel Andy in an instant classic. So there you go. I'll always remember where I was when this uh, game happened. And well, it's because I remember always where I am when these games happen because I'm in the same exact place. So there you go. <laughs> I'm right in this very chair all the time. So that is where I am. <laughs> well, there you go. Sidnev, you could see a little bit, uh, a little bit pleased with the results. So there you go, Sidnev, you will be moving on. Hey everybody, this is your old pal, Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.